One night. Be careful out there. I hear the cold. Like you got a strong back and good legs. <sighs> Name's Wendell. Wendell Redland. But most folk call me Red. Wouldn't typically bother a stranger about this, but old Dutch speaks so highly of you. So there was a group of us from here served in Vietnam together. Things we seen in that jungle. We made a pact that if something like that were ever to happen in our country, we'd be ready. Put together quite a collection. Guns, ammo, gear. Called it our freedom fund on account it was gonna make sure we stayed that way until the grave. That was a long time ago. Now the only one left still breathing is me. The gear's locked up safe and sound. But we split the code amongst ourselves, etched each number on the back of our lighters. I'd take care of this myself if I were ten years younger, but now, hell, I'd just get myself killed for no good reason. I need your help finding those lighters. Bring them to me, and I'll let you take your pick from our stash. I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna let this fucking cult burn my country to the ground. I hear one more golden oldie. I'm gonna lose it. Come on, man. Hi there. Someone's been stealing supplies from Ean's Gate out by that awful bridge. The cult can't find the thief, but I reckon they're hiding right under their nose. Life will return to normal again, but I sure won't. Moses did 40 years in the desert.
whitetail militia. Now they're heavily armed and wary of outsiders. Just my kind of people, huh? But I haven't heard anything from Eli in days. So I expect they're already at war with Jacob Seed. The only message I did get was from my niece, Jess. She said the cult had turned the lumber mill into a prison camp. Maybe you can start there. boyfriend has my fishing rod and won't give it back. Help me get it back, would ya? You're packing, right? Shoot a couple holes in his stuff, scare the shit out of him. Put some lead in the satellite dish. What? my rods. You earned it. God damn. With everything that cult's been doing around here, I can't believe he thinks the best way to stay alive is to join those fucking psychopaths. He just doesn't get it. I'm trying to get us out of here. You see, there's this monster of a fish called the Admiral. Big cash reward for catching it. If I can nab that fish, it's our ticket out of this hellhole. Dylan can be such an idiot. Ugh, I need to clear my head for a bit. Only way I know how is fishing. Why don't you come with me? Could use the company and I'll teach you some angling tricks if you want. go fishing up here with a group from high school. Cooler full of beers and a boat. That's all you need. They're all gone now. Either joined up willingly with Eden's Gate or were shipped off to the lumber mill. I hear stories about that place. All of them bad. Keep seeing wolf traps everywhere. Heard the cults taking them to the Fang Center. It used to be like a little wildlife refuge. Went there a lot as a kid. Anyway, Belongs to the cult now. Who knows what they're using it for? Anyways. See those midges over there? And that splash? It means there's fish begging to be caught. Hey, you got a rod? Give it a go. Nice cast. The fish won't want a dead bug, so keep it Drop water lures 
not feel alive. some new pointers for you later. And thanks for listening to me ramble. Sometimes it's nice to be able to get shit off your chest, you know? Off. 
If you see her, tell me! Um, hello? An older white woman has requested assistance. Are you just gonna ignore me? What has this country come to? Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. Thank you. 
If you are expecting a handout, just because you did a good deed, you have another thing coming. I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you've proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. Adelaide would notice me. She's gone! Those dick farmers took Tulip! Adelaide Drubman, pleased to make your acquaintance. Appreciate all your help getting my marina back, but honey, I got a problem. Those Peggy shipbirds stole my tulip. She's the nimblest goddamn helicopter this side of Montana, and I'll be goddamned if those fuck trumpets are gonna take her from me. I won that bird in my divorce fair and square. The walking erectile dysfunction who took her painted her that awful shade of Peggy Mayonnaise. So the only way you'll be able to find her is to ID the pilot. Should be easy to spot him. The only other birds around the area are flown by women. We all used to fly together on weekends, but that friendship went tits up after those thunder cunts joined Eden's Gate. So I got no problem if you accidentally shoot them in their disloyal faces. How about it, honey? You help me? 
And Tulip and I'll show up wherever and whenever you need us. to hit like that.
Panic tried to warn us about the cult way back when. He had a getaway car and supplies ready to go. The cult got him, but I think it's worth checking out his garage for any gear he left behind. That could have been worse.
getting a better angle.
slap my tits and call me Shirley. You made it just in time for all the fun. And you brought Tulip back in one piece. That now, I always keep my word. So, if you need a pilot who can shoot the dick off a gopher from 50 feet in the air, I'm your gal. You call me anytime. Except around sunset. Xander likes to do yoga around then, and I like to watch. You ain't lived until you've seen that ass and downward facing dog. Anyways, thanks again, hon. I owe ya. Yeah. Everyone's glad to be rid of Faith's yeah, bunker. dog like that. Perk named him Rocket on account of. <laughs> well, you know. Adelaide Drubman. She's one hell of a firecracker. Good with a gun, and she'll always bring that chopper along with her. Not a bad addition to the group, Deputy. Like everything that happened was a dream. The cult's been using the water to move supplies and soldiers. Taking it was a smart move. Some guy named Roy sent us the coordinates to his bunker. Says there's stuff down there we could use against the cult. It's locked from the inside, but according to him, there's another way in via the water. Listen, man. That junk's an environmental emergency. Can we talk, man? Can you believe what they're doing? Bliss is spewing everywhere. It's toxic shit that those Eden's gay bros are shipping everywhere, man. That stuff gets in the river, and it's a toxicity tonic. See those big green containers? They're full of bliss, and the Peggies are shipping them somewhere important. We need to find where and destroy them. My life coach says to break problems into bite-sized pieces. So step one. I know about a Peggy laptop that'll help us track down these containers. Once we find them, we blast them! Whoop! I brought down a loose one. Still have some of the meat frozen years later. Finally seeing clearly again. setting up homes. I hear there's been a bunch of cult traffic around the old sulfur mine. Hell, that place is massive. You know, they gotta be hiding something good in there. I think it's worth the risk. Still got the important bits. That's all that matters. Nice to take a breather. Well, still breathing. Aggressive animal like that should be proactive about it. Lot of gear locked away at the old lakeside camp. 
I don't want to get into details, but I've managed to hide their key, which means they're locked out of their stash for a while. That should give you enough time to get there and take it. What if there ain't nothing after we die? What if all we got of the loved ones is our memories? And after we're gone, there's nothing. Hope you drive better than you shoot. That was a joke. Working on my people skills. Hey, Toads forgot to mention. Laptop's gonna connect to the GPS on their boat. Smart, right? So, like, find the computer, find the boat, then we find their containers. Then you blast them to dust. Give me! I'm bleeding out! Unnecessary hey, Toads forgot to mention. Families Laptop's gonna connect to, to the GPS on their boats. The Smart, right? Careful. So, like, find the computer, find the boats, then we find their containers. Then you blast them to dust. Yeah! What you've heard about what's going on between me and the... Gotta move now! We got piggies. Okay, I got a GPS lock. Now we can track those boats. You should take to the skies and follow the signal. Addie's got her chopper all fired up. Give her a shout and she'll zip right to you. Get that eagle eye view and find those bliss containers. Moving out! <laughs> You need me? You know how to find me. Ready or not, here I come! That's a double ender, like the French say.
chances of Lorna and Frankie coming back, even with the place under our control, are pretty slim. I hope they're safe. always puts me in the mood to be stuffed and mounted against a wall, if you get my meaning. I was catching. Don't get me wrong, I love Xander, but this kitty needs variety in her diet. <laughs> Besides, he knows I always come back to him. Wait till autumn. Ooh. It's the perfect season for copious amounts of outdoor boning. <laughs> Green 
green flash. That place is some kind of old mining place. They're gonna have C4 and explosives all over. Perfect for blasting bliss containers, right? Tell the devil I sent you, sweetheart! <laughs>
to renovate this place entirely to get rid of the stench. We can finally live in reality. success beyond his wildest dreams, Clutch Nixon leapt off the mountain and was never seen again. After months of searching, no body was ever found, and Clutch Nixon was declared legally dead. But every year, hundreds of his most loyal fans throw themselves off this very cliff as tribute to their long-lost hero.
cover here. There's no margin for error. Jess. Jess Black. Find me at the lumber mill. The coop's days are fucking numbered. Yes. 
You got real hard, kid. I can't believe those fuckers were keeping folks prisoners there, waiting for their indoctrination. <sighs> Thanks for springing Jess. That niece of mine is as tough as nails, but she's got a knack for trouble. Check in on her for me, would you? Name's Jess. I'll be there in two shakes. By that I mean I ain't done peeing yet and I'll be there after. Where the hell did you come from? A fresh coat of paint in this place will be good as new. I feel higher than a giraffe in Jamaica, no doubt. Need your help. It's Order important. Oh, Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me. He's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. This way. See that? That's his calling card. Innocent people burned alive. Goddamn cults grabbing everyone. They'll take you from your home, bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. And anyone who can't or won't fight for him winds up dead. Cullen the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter innocent people. Nobody believed it was happening, because nobody wanted to believe.
And then there's the one we're after. The cook. He's one of Jacob's favorites. The one who leads his purge. The cook's bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. Why they call him the cook? Make way for the animal. A couple years back, Jacob sent one of his guys out to round up this family. Parents and kids. First thing they did was starve him. Gave him nothing. Not even a drop of water. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. The kids puked it right back up. You need to watch yourself, Sharky. Old county's dry as a bone. I know, trust me, I know. Can't find any drinks anywhere. I meant your fucking flamethrower. Cook didn't like them. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. Hold up. I think I heard something. Damn, Peaches is looking fit. Being on Peggy's, ain't you, girl?
There's more of us at the pit. He's gonna burn them. He's gonna burn them all. us at the pit. He's going to burn them. He's going to burn them all. My life flashed before me. It was like one of the rapping music videos. Super flossy. Had a cook. And parents on posts decided to give the kids a little water. And then he asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. The cook asked if they want pork. As whack as yes. Eden's gate is, it's even more whack than so you're walking went out around to the parents, with Cougar. And took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. And the blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. I like what the white tails are doing, but this place is like hardcore survival and shit, and I draw the line of drinking my own lemonade. Pretty soon there were no more piggies left. So he laughed. And set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. When they finally stopped screaming, I looked around, and he was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Fuck 
even cook. Their souls are plagued by filth! Damn it, he's burning them! impure and unworthy! Peggy's, see them? Their souls are plagued by... I'm going up there! So he cooks them? Better death than that piece of shit. Just like my grandma always said, get him in the head and they'd be dead. Well, I'm just saying, I'm glad I carried an extra pair of underwear in my pocket. Semi clean, thank you very much. You're talking to a chick. That was right. Cook's dead and. I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy. And now... I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's just been right about a lot of shit lately. Colt. Eli. Maybe he's right about you too. You, uh... You need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh... Thanks. For everything you've done. Well, they won't try that again. Hey, what's up? Hey, Jess, you catch me kicking some ass out there? I look good, just saying. Yeah, crank the tubes. Not that Peggy shit. I guess I'm dropping to the school before I teach you how to deal with shit like that. Science. 
no one has ever managed to repeat Hush's feat. Run. 
world is weak. Soft. We have forgotten what it is to be strong. You know, our heroes used to be gods. And now our heroes are godless. Weak. Feeble. Diseased. We let the weak dictate to the powerful, and then we are shocked to find ourselves adrift. But history knows the value of sacrifice, of culling the herd so that it stays strong. Over and over, the lives of the many have outweighed the lives of the few. This is how we survived, and we've forgotten. And now, Bill has come due. Now, the collapse is upon us. And this time, the lives of the few outweigh the lives of the many. And when a nation that's never known hunger or desperation descends into madness, we'll be ready. We will. done. Sacrifice the weak. Kill! 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 Good. Walker, go truck. Yes, sir. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Give me a hand, kid. <laughs> Eli, is this? Yep. What the fuck is the deputy doing here? Jacob took a shine to him. Same as us. You're gonna be okay, hero. Whitetail's got you now. We're bringing him back to the wolf's den? Where else? Tammy's not gonna like this. Don't worry about Tammy, she'll be fine.
Are you out of your fucking mind? Now hold on, Weedy and I agreed. Oh, you agreed! Whoa, 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 I was at best an impartial observer. This is stupid. And this is dangerous, you both know better. What was I supposed to do? Leave him to die. Tammy. They've been in that room for God knows how long. I've seen what it does to people. You haven't. You can't trust this one. That's what everyone said about you. But luckily, I didn't listen. This is not up for discussion. We need him. That's all there is to it. Understand? You're right. She took that real well. Doubt. I didn't even do anything. I'm not what I said. We need you. Let's get you some rest. Hey, bud. Hey, deputy. Just wanted to call and shake. Been trying to track you down, deputy. Dutch speaks highly. Look, I'll get right to it. I know what you did down south. You got the father thinking twice now, and that's good for us. We're bleeding bodies up here. No two ways about it. I don't know if we'll be able to hold out more than a week at this rate. Times are desperate, to say the least. I'm trying to get some footholds back, so I sent a handful of whitetails out to sabotage the visitor center. The cult's been using it as a depot for that bliss shit. But our guys walked right into a fucking trap. They've been taken hostage, and we're up against the clock. If I just send another group in there, we risk losing everything. But you... You're something that cult ain't expecting. You're the only one I got around here who can handle this, Step. Only one I trust to handle this. I'm counting on you. You'll need to go in quiet. Cult gets windier around, they're liable to kill our people. There's a bow on the table if you need it. Get our people back, Step. Good luck. So, you've met Eli. You're in good hands now. He'll get you squared away with anything they need up there in the mountains. I'll still keep an eye on you, though. Talk soon, Don't kid. Worry about him. Hey there, guy. What up, Crusher? Hey there, buddy. How's it hanging? Do What's not... up, deputy? Might have come across a little harsh earlier. I ain't apologizing. I'm just acknowledging. I don't trust people I don't know. But Eli says you're all right, so I gotta go with that until I see otherwise. You prove your worth, and you and I will get along just fine. Here's the deal. Weedy's trying to get a pirate radio station up and running. He told Eli it's to help coordinate the militia, but I'm pretty sure he just wants to play his own music. So we're gonna indulge him. Problem is, he can't get a signal out. Our friend here said the cult's been jamming this whole area. Also told us how. You better Seems there's you two radio me. towers with jammers on them and a third on a mobile unit patrolling the roads. Take the towers out first. That ought to clear the signal enough for me to locate the patrol. I'll let you know when I find it. Can never have Do this, and maybe we can start building some of that trust up. No matter what no, happens, happens duct tape around. fixes everything. Except oh, marriage. Don't and a broken home. Not me. I'm looking. Hawkeye here. Hey, what if we're going to be better than get here? Easy. I was done an hour ago. That's right. Good. a lot easier with some C4. 
four. Bet these gate idiots aren't even put to stabilize them. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't pooped in six days. Never wore a seatbelt before, not about to start now. Check in. We've lost a couple of patrols the last few days. Walker, you remember him? Guy with a stutter? Well, he's MIA now. Just watch your back out there. We can't afford to lose you, too. Should be getting close now. Destroy the control box at the top of the tower. Don't care how you do it, as long as it's shooting sparks. and mess up the jammer. All right, that did it. Give me a second. Okay, third jammer's on a truck. South. It's on the road south of you. You might have time to set up an ambush if you hurry. Maybe we can. 
can work on this whole trust thing after all. Got more work for you back at the Wolf Stand if you're looking to keep busy. See you around.